Welcome to Solar Reviews Labs. I'm your host, Ben Zentera. Are you looking for a battery for on the go or at home? Let's see what Blue Eddy has to offer. Before we get started, full disclosure, Blue Eddy sent these products to us for testing. And since then, Solar Reviews has become a Blue Eddy affiliate. That means if you buy something from their website, after clicking on one of the links in our description below, we may receive a commission. That said, our reviews and recommendations are based only on our independent testing and use of these products, and we maintain 100% editorial independence. Blue Eddy's been around for a few years. They're actually, uh, they have a parent company called Max Oak that's based in China. They've used to launch their products on crowdfunding campaigns like Indiegogo and Kickstarter, but nowadays their brand name is well known enough that they just launch their products on their own website. Just like other great battery companies that are selling right now, they've got their own Facebook group and their own subreddit where officials from the company interact with fans and also help solve problems, but they also maintain a pretty robust support network on their website. In the studio today, I've got the EV55, which holds 537 watt hours for a retail price of $399. The AC180, that holds 1,152 watt hours for a retail price of $999. And this tall drink of water, the AC300 plus B300 combo that holds 3,072 watt hours for a retail price of $32.99. All right, let's take a look at each one of these batteries and see what they can do. This little guy is the EV55. I actually have a personal story about this guy because it was the first solar generator that I ever owned. Um, I had it at my house and uh, we had a power outage. And I ran an extension cord all the way across the house and I plugged in my modem and my router and my laptop and my kid's laptop and we all stayed powered up for a few hours during the power outage and everyone was happy. Um, that means I got to work that day and that's pretty important. It holds 537 watt hours. It can put out 700 watts of continuous power and surge to 1400 watts. It weighs only 16.5 pounds and it's pretty easy to pick up with the included handle. And right now, it's charging my phone. The EB55 has lithium iron phosphate batteries inside and Blue Eddy says they can do 2,500 cycles before the capacity is reduced to 80%. It also comes with a five-year warranty. So that's 1.4 cycles per day for those five years. But if you do fewer cycles per day, you may be able to stretch that out. So in addition to the Qi charger on top, it's got two three-prong AC ports, two two-prong AC ports, one cigarette lighter DC out, and two 5521 DC barrel outs, as well as four USB-A and one USB-C port. The LCD on the front shows how much power is coming in and going out at any given time, as well as the state of charge of the battery. It can charge from up to 200 watts of solar power and can also be plugged in via its AC adapter, which is called the T200S, for an additional 200 watts. You can combine the solar and the AC charging for up to 400 watts at a time, which means this thing can charge in under two hours with solar and AC together. So we're gonna test this uh, mini fridge and uh, see how much power it draws. Looks like we're at 37 watts right now. So as I was setting up this mini fridge for our next test, I realized that you do have to have this section on for the Qi charging to work. Now, let's uh, see if this thing is keeping cool. It's drawing 44 watts. Seems cold, bear me. Sweet. Well, let's talk pros and cons. Uh, the EV55 is compact and lightweight and portable. It has enough power to keep you going through uh, like a one or two night camping trip and it can recharge via solar or AC if you ever get to a grid connection. As far as cons go, it doesn't hold a ton of energy, so it can't last for a super long time. And it does come with this kind of big, unwieldy 200 watt power brick. So that's not ideal, but ultimately at 399, it's a great value. And I think it's a great little power station. So this is the Blue Eddy AC180. It's the newest member of the AC family. It can hold 1,152 watt hours of energy and it can put out 1,800 watts continuous or surge up to 2,700 watts. It's got four three-prong AC ports on the front and a cigarette lighter DC output, but it doesn't have the 5521 barrel DC outputs like the EV55 does. It also has four USB-A ports, and each group of two is capable of putting out five volts at three amps or 15 watts total. And then it's got one USB-C port that can do 100 watts power delivery, and of course the Qi charging pad on the top. It can charge from up to 500 watts of solar input or do AC from the wall, 120 volts at 10 amps or 1200 watts total. It goes from zero to full in about two hours. It also has a silent mode, which goes down to 260 watts charging and takes about five hours to charge the battery, or a turbo mode, which can go up to 1440 watts, and that's about one and a half hours to charge from empty. It can slow charge over DC output of a car cigarette lighter, and that's 12 to 24 volts at 8.3 amps or about 200 watts. The lithium iron phosphate batteries inside can do 3,500 cycles before their capacity is reduced to 80%. Blue Eddy gives a five-year warranty with this. The AC180 can be controlled via Bluetooth through the Blue Eddy app. 
So in the Bluetti app, you go to the My Devices page and select the AC180. From the main page, you can see where the grid power is coming in and AC and DC power are flowing out. Right now we have a laptop and a battery charger plugged in. You can turn off either one of the DC or AC loads at any time or turn it back on too. You can also check out the status of charge of your battery pack and see any additional battery packs you have here. In the settings menu, you can do a firmware upgrade and you can select advanced settings and change the AC output frequency. Now, in the US, we use 60 Hertz, Japan uses 50. You don't want to change that here. The optional power lifting mode can be turned on to provide additional power over the long terms for high wattage appliances. I'm getting a little thirsty, so let's see if the AC180 can make a cup of tea. I'm not sure how much this uh, tea kettle draws, but I'll plug it into the AC outputs here and give it a go. Looks like it's pulling about 1500 watts right now and it's actually heating up. And you can hear the uh, fan of the AC-180 kick on to uh, deal with the heat that's produced. But you can also see that the kettle is heating up just fine. You can hear that boiling. Well, my tea's ready, and we charged this AC-180 with solar power this morning, so we use clean energy to make this. And that's what I call green tea. So let's talk about what's good and what's not so good about the AC-180. First, it's got good features at a good price. Uh, it offers UPS mode for emergency backup power, uh, you got the app control and the Qi charging, so you can always keep your phone handy and charged. And it doesn't have a charging brick, you just get a, a cord that goes right in the back. As far as the not so good stuff, the uh, cord doesn't have a place to store it, so you can carry that around and put it into a bag. Um, and this one doesn't have the DC5521 ports, so if you're trying to live, do a van life thing and charge a van sized uh, refrigerator or freezer, this one isn't going to be the best for that. Other than that, it's a really great unit and it offers a lot of power and a lot of storage for the price. All right, so the AC300 and B300 combo. There's a lot of talk about here, there's a lot of features, but uh, let's first plug it in and see how it works. This giant cable connects the two together. First, you plug it into the top, and then you make sure that this lock switch is slid over. Then you plug it into the bottom. When they're both locked together, then you can turn it on. And now we have a 3,072 watt hour power station. We also have the AC charging cable, that connects to this front port here, but I'm already sharing space with this cord, so. The AC300 can charge the B300 from up to 2400 watts of solar input. It can also charge with AC from the wall, 120 volts at 15 amps, or 1800 watts. Now that can be increased to 25 amps, but you have to unlock that ability with a special password, and Bluetti waives liability for you to change this setting. Finally, it can also charge from a car cigarette lighter DC port, 12 or 24 volts at up to 8.3 amps or 200 watts. Now the AC300 and B300 combo retails for about $3,000 and you can purchase additional three kilowatt hour B300 units for about $2,000 a piece. So with a full setup with the AC300 and four batteries, you're looking at 12 kilowatt hours and it costs about $10,000 plus the cost to add cables, wiring, and a sub panel to your house for backup. And speaking of backup, you can do three or four days off grid with this with keeping your fridge, a couple of mini air conditioners, a TV, your computers, all charged and running. The other cool thing this thing does is UPS backup. UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply, and it's a way to keep certain devices running even if the power goes out. So you have the AC input plugged into the wall and the battery is fully charged all the time, but if you lose power overnight when you're not paying attention, you can keep your computer running, you can keep your CPAP machine running. Then this app is pretty cool. It lets you do a lot of stuff with the Blue Wedding. So it tells me that it's charging my laptop at a rate of 89 watts. There's no incoming grid or PV or DC charging, but if I wanted to, I could turn on and off the DC or AC charging. I can also take a look at the battery pack and it tells me a little bit more about PAX 1's state of charge, which is 100%, and that it's currently discharging. You can look at all the other packs if you have more. Then I can go to the settings menu. I can change the name to something more friendly than a string of letters and numbers. How about we go with Big Boy? Next I can select whether I want to choose the standard UPS mode, a time control UPS that lets me turn on the battery backup only at a certain time of day, and that helps with reducing your um, electricity costs during peak times. I can choose PV priority, PV for photovoltaic, which means it'll provide a backup power supply, especially when there's solar panels charging it. 
and a customized UPS that lets me set modes in the unit. Now, the phone can connect to the Blue Eddy via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but I ran into an issue earlier where if I wanted to do a firmware update, I had to choose the Bluetooth setting. To do that, you go into the app, select the top right three dot icon, and click Bluetooth connection method. Then, when you go into the settings menu, you'll be able to see the option for firmware upgrade. If you connect just via Wi-Fi, you won't see that option in the menu. Now, the B300 has lithium iron phosphate batteries that Blue Eddy says can go for 3,500 charge cycles before they get down to 80% capacity. That many lithium iron phosphate batteries weighs quite a bit, so this bottom unit here weighs about 80 pounds, and the top unit weighs about 55 pounds. So that's a total of about 135 pounds. Um, that's not light, and if you add additional units up to three more, you can imagine that it's pretty heavy. Blue Eddy does offer a wheeled cart that can help you move this thing around, but for the most part, you might just use this in your mechanical room at home, plugged into a sub panel. Now compared to a home battery like the Tesla Powerwall, which stores 14 kilowatt hours, uh, this doesn't quite make the grade. It uh, can only put out 3000 watts continuous and surge to 6000 watts, whereas the Tesla can put out 7000 watts continuous and surge for quite a bit more than that. But if you just need something that can power a reasonable number of loads off grid and recharge from solar or the grid or generator backup, this can do that. So that's a wrap on our review of these Blue Eddy solar batteries. And although I like taking power on the go, this one's coming home with me. I need the ability to have a backup in case of a power outage, keep my TV on, keep my internet running, and keep my computers going. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Take care.